But the second uh, source of solar energy uh, is called photovoltaic energy. And many of you know exactly what that is. The, uh, the book will give you a, a lot of new and interesting facts uh, about it. That's the form that converts the, the sunlight directly into electrical current. And that's the form that is coming down in price uh, even more rapidly, where technology and innovation exerts more leverage on the speed with which they can improve the technology. But here is a fact of, about solar energy that, that is important for those designing policy to really clearly understand. By choosing to make that, to make solar energy a major source of electricity, we would, by that choice itself, drive the price down much more rapidly. Most of these solar panels, the photovoltaic panels anyway, are made out of silicon. What else is made out of silicon? Computer chips. What's happened with computer chips? You know very well. Moore's Law uh, is the uh, label given to a phenomenon that was first noticed in 1947 by Gordon Moore when he saw that the price of uh, computer chips, technically what he noticed was that the number of transistors uh, that could be put on a, a chip was doubling at the same cost uh, every 18 to 24 months. And that translated into a halving of the cost or a doubling of the processing power for the same cost every 18 to 24 months. It's not a law of physics. It's a law of self-fulfilling expectations. Because when the computer chip companies realized that the technology was yielding to research and development and, and making possible those advances, each one of them looked over their shoulders at their competitors and realized that they had to devote the R&D funding to make sure that they stayed on that pathway, lest their competitors beat them to the markets and gain a competitive edge. And so they made that uh, commitment. Now, uh, in the year uh, 2010, I'm still not used to saying it, but in the year 2010, there are now one billion transistors for every man, woman, and child on this planet. It's an extraordinary new reality made possible by Moore's Law and the research and development expenditures that drove innovation and drove the cost down. If we decided as a civilization to make a commitment, to make a choice in favor of solar energy, it would drive similar commitments of research and development spending and competitive energy to bring that cost down rapidly.